but uh, we are now on Sunday the 7th of the 7th 2024 I'm going to be sharing with you Saturday's readings Saturday the 6th of July 2024 I had a wonderful day out yesterday I'm now going to share with you the mass readings for yesterday and then I'll separately do the mass readings for today in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen Angel of God my guardian dear to whom God's love entrusts me here ever this day be at my side to light and guard to rule and guide Amen we pray for the faithful departed Eternal rest grant to them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Before reading sacred scripture, open my heart, O Holy Spirit, to receive your inspired word. Grant me wisdom to understand what you want to teach me and strength of will to follow wherever you lead. Come, Holy Spirit, guide us. Work in us with your gifts so that your presence may be shown and we may serve in different ways for the good of all. Amen. Spirit of the living God, you alone search out everything, even the depths of God's intentions. Remain with us always that we may know all that God has freely bestowed on us, that we may rightly judge and value all things. Amen. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may put to death all sinful thoughts and actions. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may live as God's child. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may be free from slavery to sin. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may pray and cry out, Abba, Father. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may possess the inheritance of grace that awaits me. Amen. Come, Spirit of truth, and lead us to the whole truth. Speak to us of Jesus so that we may speak of him to others. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, and help us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we should. Intercede for us so that the one who sees into our hearts and knows our thoughts may hear our prayers. Amen. Glorious Father, give us the Holy Spirit to make us wise so that we may come to know you, enlighten the eyes of our hearts, that we may know the hope to which you have called us. Amen. And the rich blessings you have promised, and how great is your power at work in those who believe. Amen. Lord God, fill us with knowledge of your will, through the wisdom and spiritual understanding your Spirit bestows on your faithful ones so that we may conduct ourselves in a worthy manner, be fruitful in every type of work, and do always what is pleasing to you. Amen. He saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal in the Holy Spirit, so that we might be restored to fellowship with God by his grace, and become heirs in hope of eternal life. Amen. Put peace into each other's hands, and like a treasure, hold it. Amen. God of blessings, in this year, give us a spirit of listening, of openness to your word, and longing for your kingdom. As we journey towards the Jubilee, a time of new beginnings, we pray for help and strength to heal our relationships with each other and all creation. Sing your song of love over us 
renewing our faith and courage so we may join our voices together, discovering a new, new harmonies of hope, new remedies of reconciliation, attentive to the spirit and awake to the needs of the world. May we seek your life-giving presence as we join as one global family in a great symphony of prayer and praise. Amen. I'm now going to share with you the liturgical readings for yesterday. Yesterday's readings for Saturday 6th of July on the 13th week in Ordinary Time, Year 2. And the memorials yesterday were for St. Maria Goretti, Virgin and Martyr, and also St. Monine of Kilevi, Virgin, she was. So the first reading is from the book of Amos, chapter 9, verses 11 to 15. I mean to restore the fortunes of my people Israel, and I will plant them in their own country. It is the Lord who speaks. That day... I will re-erect the tottering hut of David, make good the gaps in it, restore its ruins and rebuild it as it was in the days of old so that they can conquer the remnant of Edom and all the nations that belonged to me. It is the Lord who speaks, and he will carry this out. The days are coming. Now it is the Lord who speaks, when harvest will follow directly after ploughing, the treading of grapes soon after sowing, when the mountains will run with new wine, and the hills will all flow with it. I mean to restore the fortunes of my people Israel. They will rebuild the ruined cities and live in them, plant vineyards and drink their wine. I will plant them in their own country, never to be rooted up again out of the land I have given them, says the Lord your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Psalm 84. The response yours and mine. The Lord speaks peace to his people. I will hear what the Lord God has to say. A voice that speaks of peace. Peace for his people and his friends, and those to turn to him in their hearts. The Lord speaks peace to his people. Mercy and faithfulness have met justice, and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. The Lord speaks peace to his people. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. The Lord speaks peace to his people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let your face shine on your servant and teach me your decrees. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The sheep that belong to me listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 9 verses 14 to 17. Glory to you, O Lord. The theme, surely the bridegroom's attendants would never think of mourning as long as the bridegroom is still with them. John's disciples came to Jesus and said, Why is it that we and the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not? Jesus replied, Surely the bridegroom's attendants would never think of mourning as long as the bridegroom is still with them. But the time will soon come for the bridegroom to be taken away from them. And then they will fast. No one puts a piece of unshrunken cloth onto an old cloak because the patch pulls away from the cloak and the tear gets worse. Nor do people put new wine into old wineskins. If they do, the skin bursts, the wine runs out and the skins are lost. No, they put new wine into fresh skins and both are preserved. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we'll just look at this Gospel reflection for Saturday, 13th week in Ordinary Time. 9, Matthew 14 to 17. In today's first reading, the prophet Amos announces the coming of a time when the mountains will run with new wine, when people will again plant vineyards and drink their wine. In the Gospel, sorry, I'll kick off, the reading, Jesus declares that the new wine of his ministry requires new wineskins. The traditional regulations relating to fasting are not compatible with the new wine Jesus brings because they're more suited to a time of mourning than that to the period of his ministry which had more of the character of a wedding celebration. A wedding celebration often drew in the entire village. It was a rare opportunity for people to enjoy a feast with good food good food and wine in every age. In every age, the community of believers needs to find wineskins that can contain the new wine of Jesus' ministry. Is there a celebratory element to the way we teach the gospel or to how we live out our faith, to how we worship together? On one occasion, Jesus associated children enacting a funeral with the ministry of John the Baptist and children pretending to play the flute as at a wedding with his own ministry. We played the flute for you and you did not dance. We wailed and you did not weep. Luke 7, 32. In the past, certain expressions of the Christian faith, including within the Roman Catholic Church tradition, have seemed more funeral than celebratory. And God's gift of Jesus to us is always good news, even when our own personal circumstances have a lot to be desired. This is why Paul, when he was in prison, could say to the members of the church in Philippi, For him, Christ, Philippians 1.29, to rejoice in the Lord. Always again, I will say, rejoice. So we 
We have always something to rejoice about and that's a good thing. And um, we must never forget to say thank you to the Lord for all the good things we have, even though we've got things to moan at. We're much more blessed than we know. You have to go abroad and see how other people live and then you can be grateful for what you've got here. We have charity shops here. I'm not aware that they have them as we do here. It's a very good thing we have charity shops because people are generous. They give good things. When someone dies, the family don't want what's been left. They donate it to good charities that they support and there's always something good you can buy. And that helps the poorer people who don't have money to buy all the things they need, like even plates, spoons, forks, knives, those things some families cannot afford to buy. That's a fact right now. They scrimp and scrape, sadly, because they're only receiving money for two children. But our faith is very different but similar to Muslims we have all the children that Jesus gives us we do not believe in abortions never have and hopefully never will because it wouldn't be Catholic and it's hard on those families that are at the bottom of the heap and on very low incomes that they only get maybe child benefit for the first child not the second one either so those children are more hungry than you and I because they're not catered for. You know, we've become like China, haven't we? Only allow two children or something, or we, was it one at one point? You know, but who's going to pay the pensions in the future if there's no workers? You know, who's going to look after the old? They're going to kill us off. It wouldn't surprise me. You know, it wouldn't surprise me in the least. You know, the plans that they come out with in their heads, these people. They're very selfish, very selfish, very narrow looking. So charity shops are good. People, though, in my opinion, should be able to earn enough money to pay their rent, to pay their way, to buy what they need for themselves and their children. Unfortunately now, the way they're working the system, it's very unfair. And if you heard the, the that I read the other day about the Seventh Commandment, I was fascinated with that catechism reading. You know, people need to be paid a proper wage. People need to be in work as well. So the work needs to be you know, created. So I think we're in for hard times now with this new government. We need to pray a lot about the government because we've got things in our history that are being cut back and they're just disappearing. It's very, very tragic. I'm always a positive person, but I'm not positive about this government, I can assure you. And they've only just kicked off so, after reading sacred scripture, I thank you, Holy Spirit, for the word you have spoken to me through the treasure of the scripture. Make these words a living reality in my life, a constant guide, a lamp for my feet, and a light to my path. Amen. I also have something else that I wish to share because the readings are short today, uh, Saturday, and they're short on Sunday. So I'm going to, in the month of July, it's always, um, we celebrate the blood of Jesus. So I'm going to share with you the um, precious blood of Jesus. I was looking for the devotion, the, the litany for that. It should be around the, the pr precious blood of Jesus. The litany of the most precious blood of Jesus. Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. Christe eleison, Christ have mercy. Kyrie eleison, 
Lord have mercy. So you're going to hear it in Latin and English. Christe audi nos, Christ heareth. Christi exaudi nos, Christ graciously heareth. Pater de Calis, Deus, God the Father of heaven. Misere nobis, have mercy on us. Fili redemptor mundi, God the Son, redeemer of. Deus misere nobis, the world have mercy on us. Spiritus Sancti Deus, God the Holy Spirit, have misere nobis, mercy on us. Sancta Trinitas Unus Deus, Holy Trinity, one God. Misere nobis, have mercy on us. Sangui Christi Unigeniti, Blood of Christ only. Patria Eterni Salvanos, begotten Son of the Eternal Father, save us. Sangui Christi Verbi Dei, blood of Christ incarnate. Incarnati Salvanos, word of God, save us. Sangui Christi Novi Et, blood of Christ of the new. A Eterni Testamenti Salvanos, and eternal testament save us. Sangui Christi in agonia, blood of Christ falling, decurrens in terram salvanos, agony save us. Sangui Christi in blood of Christ shed, flagellanatonia profluenza, profusely in the scourging, salvanos save us. Sangui Christi in, blood of Christ flowing, coronationi spinarum, forth in the crowning with, emanan salvanos, thorns, save us. Sangui Christi in cruce, blood of Christ poured, effusus salvanos, out on the cross, save us. Sangui Christi pretium, blood of Christ, price of, Nostra salutus, salvanos, our salvation, save us. Sangui Christi sine quo, blood of Christ without, non fit remissio salvanos, which there is no forgiveness, save us. Sangui Christi in, blood of Christ, Christ, Eucharistia potus et Eucharistic drink and, lavacrum animarum salvanos, Refreshment of souls, save us. Sangui Christi flumen, blood of Christ, dream of. Misericordiae salvanos, mercy, save us. Sangui Christi victor, blood of Christ, victor over. Daemonum salvanos, demons, save us. Sangui Christi fortitudo, blood of Christ, courage of. Martyrum salvanos, martyrs save us. Uh, sangui Christi virtus, blood of Christ, strength. Confessorum salvanos, of confessors save us. Sangui Christi germinans, blood of Christ bringing. Virgins salvanos, fourth virgins save us. Sanguis Christi robur. Blood of Christ, help us. Persilitantium, salvanos. Those in peril, save us. Sangui Christa Robur, blood of Christ, help of those. Periclitantium, salvanos. Those in peril, save us. Sangui Christi Levamen. Blood of Christ, relief of. Laporantium, salvanos. The burden, save us. Sangui Christi, infletu. Blood of Christ, solus in. Solatium, salvanos. Sorrow, save us. Sangui Christi, spes. Blood of Christ, hope of the penitent, save us. Sangui Christi, solamen. Blood of Christ, Morentium Salvanos, Consolation of the Dying, save us. 
Sangui Christi Pax et, Blood of Christ, Peace and, Dulcedo Cordum Salva Nos, Tenderness of Heart, Save Us, Blood of Christ, Pledge of Sangui Christi Pignus, Vitae Alternae Salva Nos, Eternal Life, Save Us, Sangui Christi Animas, Blood of Christ Freeing, Liberans de la Cu Purgatori e, Souls from Priority Save Us. Salva Nos, Nurse, Sangui Christi Omni, Blood of Christ Most Worthy of All Glory and Honor Save Us, Gloria et honore dignissimus salvanos, Agnes Dei Quitolis, Lamb of God who takest, peccata mundi passe away the sins of the world, nobis domini, spare us, O Lord. Agnes Dei Quitolis, Lamb of God who takest, peccata mundi passe nobis domini, Away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Agnes Dei Ki Tollis, Lamb of God, who takest peccata mundi exaudinos, away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Domine Agnus Dei Ki Tollis, Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world peccata mundi misere nobis domine have mercy on us redemisti nos domine in you have redeemed us sanguin tuo o lord in thy blood et fecisti nos deo nostra regnum and made us for our god a kingdom aramus let us pray. Omnipotens simte eterne, almighty and eternal God, Deus qui unigentum, you have appointed thy filium tuum mundi, only begotten Son, the Redemptorem Constituciti, Redeemer of the world, and will to be appeared. Ei eius sanguini placari, volus isti concede, by his blood grant we beg. Quaesimus salutus nostri, of thee that we may, pratium eta venere atque, worthily adore this price. A pray. Presentis vitae malis of our salvation and eus virtute defendi in through its power he safeguarded from the evils terris et fruc ut fructru perpetuo laetimer in calis per safeguarded from the evils of the present life so that Eundem Christum, we may rejoice in its fruits. Dominum nostrum, Amen. For ever in heaven, through the same Christ our Lord, Amen. And finally, divine praises all in English. Sorry about my bad Latin. It's years since I do Latin. I did learn it at the convent, but it's terrible. Sorry. But we can all keep trying to learn, can't we? Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. 
Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and enkindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit and they shall be created and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who didst instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, creator blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. O comforter, to thee we cry. O heavenly gift of God most high, O fount of life and fire of love and sweet anointing from above, thou in thy sevenfold gifts are known, thou finger of God's hand we own. Thou promise of the Father thou, who dost the tongue with power imbue, kindle our senses from above and make our hearts o'erflow with love. With patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Far from us drive the foe we dread, and grant us thy peace instead. So shall we not with thee for guide, turn from the path of life aside. O oh, may thy grace on us bestow the Father and the Son to know. And thee through endless times confessed, of both the eternal Spirit blessed. Now to the Father and the Son, who rose from death, be glory given with thou o holy comforter henceforth by all in heaven in earth and heaven amen god bless you all thank you so much for listening may god heal you i'm sending you his peace in abundance and may you always be happy and joyful in the lord so that was yesterday's readings i'm now going to upload this and then do today's readings because they're short as well so I might do a litany of humility because I believe that the Gospels and everything might be about humility. We all have to try. It's not easy, is it? God bless and good night. Well, it is night now. It's 6pm, so it's supposed to be night, isn't it? Bye-bye. <laughs>